just going to briefly go over how our company is going to be organized. Obviously, at the top, we have the owners. Um, for now, for the present, this will be it. And obviously, this will incorporate the future. Um, each department will have its own manager. The track manager is in, uh, in charge of the maintenance staff, the people who keep grounds, keep the, keep the pavement smooth, everything like that. Event coordinators, people who set up the events, they uh, you know they, they deal with they deal with Patrick to get the word out about these events and to get people signed up, and then the flaggers and announcers who will work that day to uh, you know ensure everybody's safety, let everybody know what's going on, and everything. For the shop manager, um, of course we need the customer service staff to deal with you know incoming uh, incoming business and all that. Um, something unique that I want to have in the future is. Um, not just to have head mechanics or those people who have had you know the most experience in the auto world. I want not only that, but I want these people to have a specialty, not just in cars, but in a specific kind of car. So we'll have a head of Honda, we'll have a head of Toyota, head of Ford, everything like that. And then below them will be the well, their general technicians and mechanics. Um, over here, the clubhouse manager will be in charge of you know this this part is more of your average country club. We have a food manager, a head chef, a you know, beverage manager, and you know, the recreation manager will manage the pool and possibly the gym at some point. And then, of course, you know, people will do that. Um, and in addition to that, that specific thing that makes us unique, not only, not only is the entire, the entire company, our whole product, the only one in Maryland, we have the specific car make supervisors, which you don't get at any other shop. So there's two things. And number three, the member fees are lower than any other, most any other country club you'll find in the, the whole area, the entire East Coast. I challenge you. And in addition to all that, we have a constant source of revenue you know, after that breaking point. Regardless of how much business the shop is getting, how much people are coming to eat, we will have that constant membership revenue that just keeps coming in and keeps helping us fund like our future plans and just expansion. And you know, last last but not least, especially for me, racing and all this and this random racing motorsports park in general, it's it's really it's, it's more than just a premier private estate. It's a lifestyle. And um, you know, for any additional information and contact stuff, we already have a website set up at randomracing.net. Here we have our general introduction. We have overview of our membership packages. Oh, that's not working well. And then we have a space to reserve the track, who we will deal with, virtual tour, and contact information. Thank you. Free gifts for you guys. Everybody got one? Yeah. Yeah. A little something for you guys to take on the road. Yeah. You guys got any friends or the people that weren't here? One more thing um, before we take any questions. As a as a team, and we really want to focus the team. As our first honorary member, we'd like to present this. Laptop bag to Professor as our first honorary member. So thank you very much. That's some severe we'll swag. Yeah. <laughs> we'll open it up for uh, any questions. Questions? You say it's the only uh, racetrack of its kind in Maryland? Only full road course in Maryland. They have, we have drag strips, we have little skid pads here and there, but it'll be the only full road course. Is there one in uh, Virginia? Yes, there is one in West Virginia, Summit Point, and then the next one closest, I believe, is uh, Virginia International Raceway, which is all the way in Southern Virginia. So it's like a four hour trip from here. Okay, and how far is Howard County from Washington, D.C.? Oh, it's about yeah, about 30 miles, so about 40, 45 minutes. Okay, so it's three hours closer than any other, at least yeah. three hours closer? Yeah, well, the, the, the West Virginia is about anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours away. Gotcha. So, yeah, it's, it's a much closer alternative. Okay. And for those people who are living, you know, some members will be living right there, and those will be the first people in line who want to join. Yeah. And it's 
the only uh, private racetrack too. Okay. <laughs> Now you say you have a break even at the end of year three. What's the revenue, the run rate revenue, at the end of year three? Uh, I believe uh, we end up with about. We're just year three revenues. Uh, year three revenue. Well, we're bringing. Revenues, we're bringing. Um, 15 yeah, fifteen million, and our our total profit is uh, about one point five million. For year three or for year, four? For year three, yes. And then. In year four, what's what are your revenues and cash flow? For year four, year four? Yes. Yeah, we have uh, profits of five million, and then uh, that should be continuing on. And what are your revenues? At a constant rate, if not increasing. And what are the revenues in year four? Um, year four, it's about five million dollars. In and revenues or profits? Oh, that's 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 profits. Revenue is about um, eight point seven million. Okay, so I'm a little confused. You went from 15 million in year three. Okay, All right, we have. Okay, in our fifth year, our total revenue will be just over 31 million. Okay. And uh, our expenses will be uh, about uh, 23 million for and year five. And then the fourth year. The fourth year. Uh, fourth year is very similar. Um, be slightly lower based on um, you know a, a small growth rate that we would project, but essentially because of the steady revenue stream from the memberships where we're getting our source of revenue. Right. Um, it's pretty pretty much even once we hit break even. Okay, and then what's what's your revenue rate in year three? Uh, the sales, total sales in year total three? Total sales um, looks like about six to, I don't know what you have. Our, to our total rate for third year is about seven to eight million. Okay, so almost eight million. So you go from eight million in year three in revenues to 8.7 million in year four, did I hear that? Yeah, okay, let's pull, we'll pull the spreadsheet out for it. Okay, so hard to see from the back here, but year four. Year four revenues are $6 million, just over $6 million. Expenses are $1 million. Okay. So a total profit of a little over $5 million. Gotcha. Okay. And the website's already up. That's great. Randomracing.net. Randomracing.net. Any other questions? No? That's wonderful. Great job, boys.